Hello guys, welcome to AutoCAD electrical tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll learn about R command and how to use this R command in our electrical drawing. So before I start the session, I would like to request you, if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's start it. First I will cover all the basic commands of AutoCAD then we will move to the complete drawings of electrical. Okay, that's why I have been covering AutoCAD basics command. So I have made 11 tutorials on this basic commands. Okay, now let's come to R command. Okay, as you know that R is the part of the circle. So in this tutorial, we will only focus on how to use this R command in our electrical drawing. Okay, so so this command helps us to draw the light circuits and power circuit even in cable routing. So A is the shortcut for R command. So here we are going to use the two methods to draw the R. Okay, first third point method and second angle point method. Okay. Then we will move to how to use this R command in electrical drawings. Okay. Here I will explain in one room. Okay. Let's draw the R by using three point method. So for that type A in command box. Okay. And hit the enter. Now as you can see over here our R command is activated. Here we will see the statement likes specify the start point of R. Okay, so here I'm going to specify over here. Okay, so here I have a specified first point. Then you will see the another statements in the command box. Here you will see specify the second point of the arc. So here I'm going to specify over here. Okay, this is the second point. Again, you will see the statements in the command box specify the in point. That in point is third point. Okay, so here I'm going to specify over here. Now, as you can see over here, our arc is drawn. Okay, by using three points methods. Why three points method? Because I have clicked here first point, and then here second point, then here, and then here. That's why we called three point method. Okay. Now here, let's draw a line. Okay. So let's draw the arc using angle method. So for that, let's select the command from here. As you can see over here, here we have a start in an angle. So this is the angle method. Okay. Click on it. Now, as you can see over here, our arc command is activated and you will see the statement like specify the start point of the arc. Okay. Here, if we want to draw the arc from the bottom side, okay, then we will have to start the first point by clockwise direction, okay, like this, okay. So for that, let's select the this one first point, okay, and then you will see the again in the command box specify the in point of the arc. So here we have an in point. So if we click on this side by rotating, you know, anti-clockwise, then this arc will be drawn from upper side. Okay. Here we are going to draw the arc from bottom side. That's why we have to rotate this in the clockwise direction. Click on second point. Now you'll see the statement likes specify the included angle. So here we have to give the angles, some angles. Okay. So here I want to draw the arc having angle 120 degree. Okay. That's why let's put it 120 degree. Okay. And hit the enter. Now here you will see our arc is drawn having 120 degree. So here this arc is drawn at the bottom, bottom side. Okay. Now suppose we want to draw this arc from upside then we will have to select the first point in the direction of anti-clockwise so for that let's again select the start end and angle method for that let's click on first point let's rotate it 
by the anti clock direction so here let's click end point and again you will see the statement in the command box specify the included angle so here i'm going to give the 120 degree again and hit the enter now you can see over here our arc is drawn at the top side okay so in this way we can draw the arc but in our electrical drawing we are not going to use this angle method okay simply we are going to use this arc command by freehand in our electrical drawing so here i am going to use this command our command in our electrical drawing so how to draw the light circuit diagram so let's draw the one room for that here so let's use the rectangle command here i have drawn a room and let's draw the door okay and one thing even this command is helpful to draw the drawers so civil person can use this command now to draw the drawer let's use r command so for that type a and hit the enter now click the first point then second point then third point okay so here i have drawn door and let's draw the one surface light round surface light over here and uh, one tube light led tube light and two wall lights okay so for that let's use circle command and draw it to mid of this room and let's use has command to fill the color okay so here i have used so this is our led round type surface light now let's draw the led tube light so here i am using freehand because i want to just show you how to use this r command okay again to fill the color let's use has command so here i have drawn led tube lights now let's move to wall light so here so he, here i have drawn wall light so this is the wall light okay and now let's draw the switch one way switch okay i'm using circle command for it let's place this switch beside this door and let's use line command okay so here we have drawn the simple room okay and uh, here we have a one led round type surface light and this is the wall light and this is the led tube light okay and beside the door we have a one way switch so we are going to control this three light with the help of this switch okay now let's start the light circuit okay light wiring from this switch to this bulb okay so for that let's use r command type a and hit the enter then you will see the our r command is activated and you will see the statement like specify the start point of the arc okay so here i'm using first point here okay and click the second point over here and finally third point here so we have completed the lighting circuit between this switch and this light okay similarly we are going to draw the light circuit for this light okay so for that so let's press the space bar okay to repeat the previous command previously we have used our command that's why it will repeat okay when we press the space bar command okay so here we have pressed a space bar so again our command is activated and here i'm using first point and here second point and uh, here i'm using third points okay now similarly we can do the circuit wiring by using this r command for this wall light also so for that let's type a r command and hit the enter 
and click here first point and second point and then you can click over here third point so in this way we can use the r command in our electrical drawing okay so in this tutorial we have learned about how to draw the r command how to use r command in electrical drawing okay so hope you guys understand this tutorial so thank you for watching this tutorial please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video